So if you want better hockey sense with mechanics, this six week program will show you exactly how to do that. You see a lot of these top NHLers, these superstars who have these natural abilities, which they really are natural to them. Those natural abilities can be broken down with science and they can be taught if you understand the mechanics behind it. And that's what we like to do at Train 2.0 is look at those things that seem so good, they, they seem unlearnable and break them down into bite-sized chunks for you to learn. So this time we are gonna go over hockey sense and the mechanics behind that, which comes down to two things. Head position is the first, and then understanding your dominant eye as it relates to that is number two. So in today's video, we're gonna go over the dominant eye. Now I picked this up from a tennis coach, but also golf, coach, uh, golf coaching as well. And it's this really interesting concept, which is you have one eye, just like you have, you know, you might be right-handed, you might be left-handed. You also have a dominant eye that tracks and sees things and helps you balance. And another one, and the other one is like useful too, because it allows your brain to create depth perception and it does other things for your balance. But you have one eye that primarily does most of your aiming. So what we're gonna do in this first video is we're gonna figure out which is your dominant eye. Then in the remaining videos, what we're gonna do is we're gonna dive into what does that mean for your head position in different situations. When you have your head position correctly in different situations, hockey sense is almost automatic. Now there's still things to learn. There's still you know, the ability to think tactically and think X's and O's and have coaching like that. But when you have the right head position, everything else almost comes effortlessly. But if you do, have, if you do not have the right head position, and you, there's actually no chance. You can do all the X's and O's, you can do all the IntelliGym, you can get all the coaching you want, but if you do not have the right head position, it just won't happen, and that starts with the dominant eye. So we're gonna place our hands in a triangle, and we're gonna put something in our field of view in the triangle. So, for example, I'm gonna put the bicycle stand, the, the blue bicycle stand in my field of view, and I'm going to close my left eye. And when I close my left eye, if it's still in the center, that means I'm right eye dominant. Now, if I close my right eye and it moves, so it's no longer in the center, then I know that I'm, I'm definitely right eye dominant. The opposite happens, and I put my hand, I put it in the center, and then I close my right eye and it doesn't move. What that means is that I'm left eye dominant. And then when I close my left eye and it's moved, then I'm definitely left eye dominant. So that's the first step is to determine whether you are left eye or right eye dominant. And the way you find that out is when you close the opposite eye, right? So if I close my left eye and it stays in, this, in the center of my circle, that means that, that means I'm right eye dominant. If I close my right eye and it stays in the center of my triangle, that means that I'm left eye dominant and vice versa. So the whole trick is to know when to close the opposite eye and it does not move and you're seeing through that eye and you're seeing through that eye into the triangle, that is your dominant eye. So I know it's a little bit confusing because you got to think through opposite eye and non-opposite eye and whatnot, but the one where if you can see me and I can see you, my right eye, that means I'm right eye dominant. Now that's going to play into all sorts of things in terms of head position and where the puck is positioned. And that's going to depend on all sorts of things like where your hands are positioned, all those things. But we're going to get into that in these next five videos, but this is the first piece, which is just getting that dominant eye piece correct. So now that we have that, let's take it into head positioning in our next video. Thanks for watching.